What if I told you that you hold more power than you think? What if you could tap into this power to influence your life and those around you? We are about to take a journey into the world of psychological power, inspired by the brilliant mind of Robert Greene. Greene, a renowned author and thinker, has dove deep into the dynamics of power and influence, offering a unique perspective on how they shape our lives. Today, we'll explore key psychological laws of power drawn from his insights. We'll discuss how these laws can be applied in our everyday life, helping us navigate through our personal and professional challenges with greater control and influence. So, are you ready to unlock your potential and step into your power? Join me as we unravel the laws of psychological power and how to harness them effectively. Our first law, the law of self-belief, is all about the power within you. It's a fundamental principle that governs our actions and decisions. This law suggests that your belief in your abilities can shape your reality, dictating the limits of what you can achieve. It's not just about thinking you can do it, it's about knowing it deep down in your bones. Now you might be wondering, how can I bolster my self-belief? Well, it's a journey that starts with challenging yourself. Every day, take on tasks that push you out of your comfort zone. It's in these moments of discomfort that you'll discover your true potential. Remember, growth happens at the edge of your comfort zone. Another powerful tool is daily affirmations. These are positive statements that you repeat to yourself each day. They serve as a reminder of your capabilities and your worth. Phrases like, I am capable, I am strong, I can face any challenge that comes my way. These aren't just words, they're declarations of your power, and they can help to cement your self-belief. To illustrate the power of this law, let's consider the story of Thomas Edison. Edison, the inventor of the light bulb, failed a thousand times before he finally succeeded. But he didn't see these as failures. Instead, he famously said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. It was his unwavering belief in his own abilities that eventually led to his success. Edison's story is a testament to the power of self-belief. He wasn't deterred by setbacks, instead he saw them as stepping stones to his eventual success. His belief in himself was so strong that it propelled him forward even in the face of adversity. So as we explore the law of self-belief, remember this. Your belief in yourself is your most powerful asset. It can push you to achieve things you never thought possible. It can help you overcome obstacles and reach new heights. Remember, belief in oneself is the first step towards achieving greatness. Moving on to our next law, the law of persuasion, the key to influencing others. Persuasion is the art of getting people to see things your way, not through coercion, but through understanding, empathy, and strategic communication. It's about building connections, fostering trust, and guiding others towards a shared vision or goal. The beauty of persuasion is that it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. It's an art that varies based on context, audience, and objective. But there are a few universally applicable techniques that can help you become more persuasive. First, understand your audience. Empathy is the cornerstone of persuasion. By understanding others' perspectives and needs, you can tailor your message to resonate with them. Second, build credibility. People are more likely to be persuaded by someone they trust and respect. Demonstrate your knowledge, show integrity, and be consistent in your actions to build that trust. Third, appeal to emotions. We're all emotional beings, and our decisions are often influenced by our feelings. Construct your message in a way that evokes the right emotions, and you'll be more likely to persuade. Fourth, use compelling storytelling. Stories are powerful tools for persuasion. They engage, captivate, and inspire people, making your message more memorable and impactful. Now, let's look at an example. Consider the story of Martin Luther King Jr., a man who used the power of persuasion to lead a civil rights movement. King understood his audience, built credibility through his actions, appealed to emotions with his powerful speeches, and told compelling stories of a dream of equality. His ability to persuade played a crucial role in advancing civil rights. In conclusion, persuasion is more than just a tool for influence. It's a powerful skill that can foster understanding, inspire change, and build bridges. So, practice these techniques, hone your skills, and you'll be well on your way to mastering the art of persuasion. Remember, mastering the art of persuasion can open doors you never thought possible. Now, let's delve into the law of social intelligence, your secret weapon in the world of power. 
Imagine a world where you could read the room like a book, understanding the subtleties of human behavior, the unspoken needs and desires of those around you. This is the essence of social intelligence. It's not just about being sociable or likable. Rather, it's about understanding social dynamics and emotional intelligence. Think of social intelligence as your radar, your guiding compass in the complex world of human interactions. It's about being aware of the emotional undercurrents, the motivations driving actions and the silent cues that often say more than words ever could. So, how can you improve your social intelligence? Start by becoming an active listener. Pay attention not just to what people say, but how they say it, their body language, and the emotions behind their words. This will help you understand their true feelings and intentions. Secondly, practice empathy. Try to see things from other people's perspectives. This doesn't mean you have to agree with them, but understanding their viewpoint will give you a broader picture of the situation and allow you to respond more effectively. Finally, be mindful of your own emotions and reactions. Understanding yourself is the first step in understanding others. Now, let's look at a real-life example. Consider the case of Eleanor Roosevelt, the First Lady of the United States from 1933 to 1945. She was known for her social intelligence, her ability to understand and navigate complex social dynamics, and her empathy for those in need. These traits made her not just a beloved figure, but also a powerful advocate for civil rights and women's rights. Her social intelligence allowed her to influence policy, rally support, and make a lasting impact. Remember, social intelligence is not just about understanding others, it's about understanding yourself in relation to others. It's about navigating the complex web of human interactions with grace, tact, and empathy. And when you master this law, you unlock a powerful tool in the art of influence and power. Social intelligence is not just about understanding others, it's about understanding yourself in relation to others. Finally, we explore the law of strategic planning, the blueprint to power. This law emphasizes the importance of planning and foresight. Just as a chess player anticipates their opponent's moves, we too must cultivate the habit of strategic thinking in our lives. Now, strategic planning isn't just about setting goals, it's about understanding the bigger picture, identifying potential obstacles, and devising a plan to overcome them. It's about making conscious decisions rather than being swept along by circumstance. Imagine you're sailing a ship. You need to chart your course, anticipate storms, and adjust your sails accordingly. You wouldn't just set off without a map and hope for the best, would you? That's the essence of strategic planning. It's your map in the turbulent seas of life. So how can we cultivate this strategic mindset? Start by examining your current situation. What's working for you? What's not? Next, identify your ultimate goal. What do you want to achieve? Then think about the steps you need to take to get there. What resources do you need? What obstacles might you face? Finally, create a plan of action and remember, your plan isn't set in stone. It's a living document that evolves as you navigate your journey. Consider the story of Elon Musk. He didn't just stumble into creating SpaceX, he had a strategic plan. He saw a future where humans could live on Mars, identified the obstacles, primarily the high cost of space travel, and set about overcoming them. He planned, he pivoted, he persevered, and now SpaceX is a pioneering force in space exploration. So, whether you're aiming for the stars like Musk or simply trying to navigate your personal or professional life, remember the power of strategic planning. It's your compass in the wilderness, your roadmap to success. Strategic planning is the difference between reacting to life and actually living it. We've journeyed through the laws of psychological power. Now, let's bring it all together. We started with the law of self-belief, revealing the power that lies within each of us when we believe in our abilities. Then, we navigated the law of persuasion, unmasking the art of influencing others to our way of thinking. The law of social intelligence followed highlighting the importance of understanding social dynamics and emotional cues. Finally, we looked into the law of strategic planning, emphasizing the crucial role of foresight and planning in gaining power. These four laws, once understood and applied, can be transformational. They are not just theories but practical tools to boost personal and professional growth. It's important to remember that the essence of power isn't dominance but influence harness these laws of power and you can shape your world remember power is not about control it's about influence so how will you influence your world today
And remember, becoming a master of psychological power doesn't mean you're plotting world domination. Unless, of course, you're aiming to be the ruler of positivity and success in your own world. Catch you in the next video.